Cut this. Okay, we're, we're cutting right now. Uh, oh, we're not. I think the international superstar is you, Miss Yes, Thing. I agree. And no matter what, All you right. will survive. And, and now we're getting back to the uh, top 10 things to do in Nice. Hello, this is Caroline, and thanks for joining me for the top 10 things to do in Nice. I'm here with my friends from Nice, Ella Dyer, author of Nice and Nice, and star of House Hunters International, John Garland. That's me. Tell me about Nice and Nice. Well, Nice and Nice is the quintessential book about Nice. Actually, it's just a great little story, a great little vapid beach read about what to do in Nice because uh, this is where we live. And I will link to her book below so that you can get it. All right, so John, all right, uh, tell us about your stardom, your famousness, and I will link to his House Hunters International episode below if you want to see it. But tell us about getting on House Hunters International and your time in Nice. Hold well, on. I basically came here for two days with my ex, just as a stopover, really had no interest in Nice in particular, and just absolutely fell in love with it. And then when I decided that I wanted to start over and relocate, this was, I, I really felt like this was just where I was supposed to be. Like it was, it was drawing me, uh, as I think Ella could attest to. And right now we are coming to you from the basement of the Snug and Cellar in the Old Town, which is the, the place where I first really started singing here in Nice, also where we filmed part of the House Hunters International episode. And now let's get back to the top 10 things to do in Nice. And at the end of this video, I'll give you the bonus thing to do in Nice that you won't find on anybody else's YouTube video. And let's get started. Number one. Castle Hill of Nice. This spot provides the best panoramic views of Nice. This served as a fort from the 11th to 18th century and was destroyed in 1706 by Louis XIV. It is now a beautiful park providing panoramic views. I suggest going on a clear sunny day, but I have to warn you that it is a 600 meter uphill climb. And the locals tell me the elevator is usually broken. Number two, Old Town Nice and Corsalea. If you take a walking tour or food tour of Nice, you'll most definitely visit Old Town and Corsalea. The vendors sell fresh flowers and produce here Tuesday through Sunday. On Monday, this turns into an antiques market. The shops in Old Town sell quintessential Nice souvenirs. Number three, Promenade des Anglais. This is the beach area of Nice where people walk, run, ride bicycles, or just lay out on the beach. The English translation is Walkway of the English because the original project was financed by English minister Louis Way in 1820 and the Holy Trinity Church. The seven kilometer stretch is considered iconic Nice. Number four, shopping. The main strip is John Medicine running north and south along the tram line. There is a pedestrian walk right running east-west called Rue Messina. Two other streets running east-west with great shopping and cafes are Rue Liberté and Victor Hugo. Don't miss out. Number five, between Old Town and John Medicine is the main square of Nice known as Palais Messina. The famous and previously controversial statue of Apollo in the Sun Fountain is right behind me. At night, the street is lit up with festive lights year-round. Number six, sample olive oil from Nicholas Alazari. This store is located in Corsalea and has been selling olives and olive oil since 1932. Number seven, check out the handmade chocolates from Maison Aryar. All of their processing is done by hand by six generations of the same family since 1820. They sell chocolate and candied fruits here. Number eight, visit the Chagall Museum. From the city, you can take a bus north to the Chagall Museum and see mostly religious paintings and stained works of glass of Marc Chagall. This museum opened in 1973 and the artist did provide his input into the design of the museum. Number nine, after visiting the Chagall Museum, you can take the bus further north and visit the Matisse Museum. If you purchase the Nice Museum Pass, you can see the Chagall, Matisse Museum, and the Archaeological Museum, which is within a short walk from the Matisse Museum. Number 10, take a day trip. There are several surrounding towns which are easily accessible by train or bus. 
Monaco is less than 30 minutes away from the main train station. Thanks for watching the top 10 things to do in Nice. And as I promised, what is the bonus thing to do in Nice? John Garland. Coming to see my show every Friday at Le Truc at 78 Rue de France. Myself on Fridays and then Saturday International Karaoke. Same place, I sing and you sing. And um, it's super fun. Tons of great people, great drinks. Just to recap, before you come to Nice, buy the book Nice and Nice by Ella Dyer. I will link to it below. And then when you get here, or actually prepare yourself to get here, make sure you visit John's website, which is jgjones.net, which I will link to below as well. We'll see you at La Troupe. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bonne soirée. Bonsoir. Bonsoir.